This past week's Broncos-Colts game is being called one of the worst Thursday night football games of all time. I mean, Al Michaels was openly complaining on air about how bad it was. And I mean, you know it's bad when your own team's home fans are walking out as the game is going into overtime. So what happened? If you like offense, this was not the game for you. The teams were combined 0 of 6 in the red zone. That being said, the Broncos especially put on a real defensive effort. There was a point where they got two sacks in a row to bring the Colts out of field goal range. The Colts themselves blocked a field goal. But what must have been the longest passing play in the game actually occurred when the ref took down a safety. Russell Wilson was especially frustrating to watch. In the fourth, he had a brutal pick on the four-yard line. Then, after several clutch defensive stops and a converted fourth down, Wilson threw another pick, this time in the end zone. This gave the Colts a chance to move upfield, and of course, they kicked a field goal, tying the game and sending it into overtime. In OT, the Colts converted a field goal, and although Wilson actually played fairly well, he couldn't get it done on the final play. Overall, Wilson's been tough to watch in Denver all season. The team has the lowest red zone touchdowns in the entire NFL. His completion rate is significantly down, and he's got the lowest QB rating of his career, 82.8 with four touchdowns and three interceptions. Did you check out this game last night, and was it one of the more boring ones you've ever seen? Let me know your thoughts, and subscribe for more sports content.